What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Sore Nuda, and let's do news today. A lot of people really weren't fans of me mimicking Keemstar's intro, so today, you don't get it. But guys, our first story is huge. So Logan Paul went on Good Morning America yesterday, which we covered here on Drama Alert, and then he proceeded to go skydiving. And as eventful as that day already was, Logan's main parachute did not open. He tweeted out a picture and said this. Here's a photo of my empty pack after I had to cut away the main parachute because it didn't open. I can tell you, the feeling of the blue reserve parachute opening and functioning properly was miraculous. This has never happened to another student before at this school. Logan Paul lives on. And a few hours later, he posted this on his Instagram story. Roll it. Maverick lives to fight another day. Yo, this happens to 0.1% of people. Like, ugh. Right. My instructor was wearing a 360 camera, so we do have the footage. I'm gonna post uh, uh, the first vlog back, but yeah crazy bro. So apparently Logan's first vlog back is gonna be a huge one. He said that his instructor was wearing a full body cam so virtually everything was recorded. See they used to tell me to not go skydiving because when I hit the ground it would cause a seismic shift. And then seeing something as insane as this, dude, he lives a crazy life. I gotta give it to him. Also in the news, Seattle police arrested Jess Cliff, 36, who's the co-creator of popular FPS game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Police have not commented further on the case. The arrest shows that Cliff, who was an employee of Valve since 2003, was arrested at 1.17 a.m. Pacific time earlier this morning. He's since been denied bail, but has not been charged with a crime. And as it states, Cliff created Counter-Strike alongside designer Min Lee in 1999 as a mod to the critically acclaimed shooter Half-Life. Valve later obtained the rights to Counter-Strike, and it has since become one of the most popular multiplayer games in the world for nearly two decades. And as we get more updates on that story, we'll let you know here at Drama Alert. But also in the news, KSI and Joe Weller's fight is tomorrow, and KSI is doing literally everything in his power to get Joe riled up. Even blowing kisses in his face at the weigh-in today. Roll it. See, now if I were Joe, I'd have taken the kiss. No, but on a serious note, this fight is about to get a whole lot better simply because KSI did that. Also in the news, and probably some of the most important content from today, FaZe Banks and Alyssa Violet are back. Banks and Alyssa uploading a video today to Banks' channel explaining where they've been and kind of what they've been doing, and then finally saying this. Roll it. <laughs> Wait, is this just like telling them that it's, I, we're coming back, right, baby? Yes. We're coming back, baby. Yeah. You heard her say it, and and then you heard him say it, and now you're hearing me say it. They are back, ladies and gentlemen. And in our final topic today, it's looking like Jake Paul's back in the news. Uploading a vlog today where he gives some insider information on Team 10. Both current and past members being involved in the video, and then finally saying this. Roll it. But guys, the point is, Team 10 is the same thing. It's an incubator. People come in, they grow, they hatch out of their shells, and they go to, and do their careers. Now, some people stay with Team 10 during that time. Some people go and want to go off on their own. But it doesn't necessarily mean they're not a part of the Team 10 family. Like, we still got percentages, though. Lump sum and residual. Listen, kids, when you sign a contract, Please, for the love of God, read it. And if you don't have the time or mental capacity to do that, then please have enough money to have a lawyer do it for you. Anyway, that's all the news we have for you today here at Drama Alert. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub, drop a like, and turn on those post notifications. My name is Nuda. I'm almost at 420k. If you'd like to help me get there, my links are down in the description below. Drama Alert Nation, now over 3,434,000. Subscribers. I'm really just trying to get Virgil Abloh to sponsor drama.